Good evening. It was fear. That's a reason a Pasco County woman who passed away a couple of weeks ago never shared her incredible story publicly. Now her family wants everyone to know about it. About three hours north of Tampa Bay is a marker for a town that was but is no more. In January 1923, the all black town of Rosewood was burned to the ground by an angry white mob. The fires, the rioting and killings went on for days, all started after accusations that a white woman in nearby Sumner had been assaulted by a black man. Not just hide, but hide in swamp. Richard Graham III knows that story very well. His grandmother, Vera Gowen Tamilton, lived it. Fear. Sphere. At two and a half years old, when it all happened, she was forced to hide in the woods for days as mobs roamed the town. Her grandmother, Sarah Carrier, worked for the woman who made that claim and disputed the story she told. It led to her death. She was two and a half years old. Um, um, you know, she didn't have that much vivid memory of it other than the information that was told to her by her siblings. And, and other, you know, family members, if you will. Told, but never talked about, except Richard says, among other family members at Christmas. Vera Gowen Tamilton died two weeks ago. She was 100 years old. And until this very moment, her family has never spoken publicly about her Rosewood connection, afraid all of these years for her safety. Because ironically, both the woman who made that charge that led to the riots in the first place and Mrs. Goins Hamilton ended up living in the very same Pasco County town. It's important, you know, for the family, uh, the, the immediate family of grandmother Avira, because, you know, she was, was never recognized as a so-called Rosewood survivor. And important in our current climate to remember a gloomy part of the Sunshine State's past. You can't mentally prepare yourself to put yourself in their shoes because it'll make you crazy. Because she never mentioned anything about being a Rosewood survivor publicly, Vera Goins Hamilton never received any of that $2 million settlement from the state of Florida a couple of decades ago. Rod Carter, eight on your side.